Hi everyone, and welcome to Learn Science with me, your mentor, Doria. The Living World Week 5, Animals of the Desert In this lesson, we will do some fun fact quizzes, learn where we find deserts and what animals we would expect to find in them, there will be lots of fun activities and at the end there will be a few suggestions of other activities you can do at home. Let's dive right in with a fun facts quiz about deserts. Deserts are actually teeming with life and are home to many different plants and animals that have all adapted to live in this harsh environment. But what classifies a certain environment as a desert? What makes a desert a desert? Is it A? a place that receives less than 25 centimetres of rainfall a year, b a place that reaches temperatures of more than 50 degrees C during the day, or c an area that is extensively covered by sand and has no water. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Three, two, one. That's right, the answer is a. For an area to be considered a desert, it must receive less than 25 centimetres of rainfall a year. As we will be talking about deserts, I think it is important to know where we actually find them. To figure this out, let's have a go at answering this question. Where in the world do you think we find deserts? I am going to show you three possible answers and let's see if you can pick the right one. Here we have map A, which if correct would mean we find deserts in the orange areas on this map. Here we have map B, which if correct would mean we find deserts in the brown areas of this map. And finally map C, which if correct would mean we find deserts in the blue areas of this map. Here are all the possible answers on one slide. I'm going to give you a few moments now to think about which map correctly shows you where we find deserts. 3, 2, 1. That's right, it's map B. We find deserts in the brown areas on this map. Let's move on to our first activity, learning by labelling. Here we have three labels, the Sahara, the Antarctic and the Gobi. Each of these are three different deserts located in different parts of the world. What I would like you to do is give each of these stars the correct label. Here is the first star. Which of the three labels do you think is the correct name for the first star? Is it the Sahara, the Antarctic or the Gobi? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Three, two, one. That's right, it's the Sahara. The Sahara Desert is the third largest desert in the world and is found on the continent of Africa. One of the most famous land features in the Sahara are the sand dunes which can reach almost 183 meters in height. However, they only cover around 15% of the entire desert. Despite being quite a harsh environment, the Sahara is home to hundreds of different plants and animals. Let's have a look at some of them. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a camel. The camels that live in the Sahara are more specifically known as Arabian camels. They only have one hump which can be seen here. This hump can store up to 80 pounds of fat which can be broken down into water and energy for the camel to use when these things are not available in the environment. This is one of the many ways in which these animals have adapted to live in these desert conditions. Another trick the camel uses to save water is that they do not sweat, even though it is really hot in the desert. Up next, we have the fennec fox. These animals are also well adapted to living in the extreme conditions of the desert. For example, their bat-like ears help them lose body heat which keeps these foxes cool. They also have long thick hair that keeps them warm during the cold nights 
but also protects them from the hot sun during the day. Now we know about the Sahara and the animals we find there, let's move on to location two. Do you think the second star is the Antarctic or the Gobi? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Three, two, one. That's right, it's the Antarctic Desert. The Antarctic Desert is very different from the Sahara as it is a polar desert. The Antarctic Desert is the largest desert in the world. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent and it nearly doubles in size during the winter time when the sea ice expands. It is also the coldest place on Earth. Even though the continent is entirely made of ice, it is still classified as a desert as there is so little moisture that falls from the sky. One of the animals that can be found there are these emperor penguins. They are the largest of all penguins and are extremely well adapted to living in these cold conditions. For example, they huddle to escape the winds and stay warm. This is a picture of one of the emperor penguins huddles. It is quite impressive. Interestingly, individuals will take turns moving into the group's protected and relatively warm middle. Once a penguin has warmed up a bit, it will move out towards the edges of the group so other penguins have the opportunity to warm up. How nice! Here we have a Weddell seal. These animals can spend as long as 45 minutes underwater before coming back up to the surface to breathe. They can also dive down to depths of around 610 meters. Interestingly, seal pups are also able to swim by the time they are two weeks old. Next, we have krill. Krill, in general, are quite small creatures, averaging around two inches in length. Antarctic krill are actually the largest of the krill species. They eat phytoplankton, which are microscopic, single-celled plants that live near the surface of the water. Krill are of much ecological importance in the Antarctic ecosystem as they are the main staple in hundreds of other animal diets, including fish, birds and whales. These creatures are increasingly under threat from things like overfishing and climate change. A reduction in Antarctic krill population will have serious knockoff impact on the rest of the Antarctic ecosystem. Now we know about the Sahara and Antarctica and the animals we find there, let's move on to location 3, which must be the Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert, located in Central Asia, is around 1,000 miles long and 300 to 600 miles wide, which is massive. It can be both very cold and very hot. In January, its average low temperature is minus 40 degrees and in July, its average high temperature is 45 degrees. Do you know what animal this is? Yes, it's a snow leopard. Snow leopards can be found in mountain ranges across Asia, including the mountain ranges of the Gobi Desert. They are great jumpers, able to jump as far as 15 meters. They also have long tails, which they use to help with balance. Any ideas what this creature is? It's a jaboa. Surprisingly, jaboas do not drink water. They get all the water they need from their food, which is mostly plants and insects. These animals do not walk or run, but jump around to move. They can jump several feet, both in the horizontal and vertical direction. How cool. Now, let's practice. <laughs> Let's practice what we have just learned with a learning by matching activity. Here we have pictures of three different animals we find in different deserts across the world. What I would like you to do is match the picture with the name of the animal and the name of the desert where it comes from. Feel free to pause the video now so you can have a go at this activity. Have you managed to do that? Great. This first picture shows you a camel, which can be found in the Sahara Desert. The next picture shows you a Weddell seal, 
which can be found in the deserts of Antarctica. Finally, the last picture shows you a jaboa, which call the Gobi Desert home. Well done, everyone. Here we have another learning by matching activity. In the middle of the slide, you will see a picture of a fennec fox. Around the fennec fox are different labels with different adaptations the fennec fox may or may not have to live in the desert. What I would like you to do is read each of the labels and choose which ones apply to the fennec fox. There is more than one right answer. Feel free to pause the video now. You can have a go at deciding which adaptations this fennec fox has to live in the desert. Have you done that? Great! The correct answers are highlighted here in green. Fennec foxes are nocturnal, meaning they are active during the night. They have thick hair which keeps them warm during the cold nights and protects them from the hot sun during the day. They also have hairy feet and have large ears which help keep them cool and they are also good at digging, which is important as fennec foxes live in underground dens. Here is another learning by matching activity. In the middle of this slide, you will see a jaboa. Just like for the fennec fox, around it you will see different labels which each have adaptations that the jaboa may or may not have. What I would like you to do is read each of the labels and choose which one applies to the jaboa. There is more than one right answer. Feel free to pause the video now so you can have a go at this activity. The correct answers are highlighted here in green. Jaboas have long tails to help with balance. They also have long hind limbs, which refers to the limbs in the lower parts of the animal's body. This helps them with jumping. They also don't drink water as they get all the water they need from their food. Well done, everyone. Our final activity today will be this learning by word searching. Here we have three pictures of animals we have talked about today. In this word search, we have the names of these three animals. What I would like you to do is try and find the names of the animals in the word search. The words might be going up or down, left to right or diagonally across. This might take a little bit of time, so feel free to pause this video so you have time to do this. Have you managed to do that? Here we have the answers. This was a picture of the krill and the word could be found here. These are penguins and the word could be found here. And finally we have the fennec fox which could be found here. Well done everyone! Let's move on to our last fun facts quiz which will be about deserts. Deserts are usually characterised as being hot, sandy and barren places. But, how much desert do you think is covered by sand? Is it A, 50%, B, 20% or C, 60%? I'll give you a moment to think about this. 3, 2, 1... That's right, the answer is B. Only 20% of all deserts are covered by sand. If you have enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Here is some more practice that you can do to learn even more about deserts at home. This link will take you to this website, which should look something like this. If you scroll down the page, you will come across this video which tells you about how a camel is adapted to the desert. Feel free to watch this to learn how a camel is adapted to live in the desert. The second link will take you to another website which should look like this. On this page you will find some cool pictures and some interesting information on deserts. Feel free to explore this page. For the reflective activity, I suggest watching the episode From Deserts to Grassland from the Netflix series Our Planet which can be accessed using the link below on YouTube. If you enjoy the episode, after it, it would be nice if you could draw a picture of a new plant or animal you have seen in the episode and then write down three facts you found interesting about it 
under your picture or on the back of your picture. The most important thing is to have fun. Unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you have had as much fun as I have. I look forward to seeing you all in our next lesson together. It's bye for now. Thank you.